hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video i am going to show you how to display a part simulation in the assembly okay so as you have seen in many videos that one part having the simulation display and other parts having the normal appearance right so uh, let's say i want to make this part showcasing as the stress or displacement or whatever parameter you want to showcase in the single part uh, other than the other, uh, existing parts okay so how to do that in the solidworks so there is one option called uh, simulation display which is available here and uh, how to enable that how to do the simulation we will showcase that okay so let's start the simulation first okay let's begin with the uh, simulation window I cannot see the simulation window over here so what I will do I will just go to the SOLIDWORKS add-ins and go to the SOLIDWORKS simulation okay it will turn on and SOLIDWORKS simulation is on right now I will uh, start a new study static study okay okay good now parts are there okay however pa these parts are uh, those parts which are going to include in the simulation okay but i don't want to include them in a simulation because i want to do a simulation of the upright right only single upright because i want to showcase uh, this part in the assembly as a simulation display right so what i will do i'll click this part okay and i will uh, see the details okay material is not defined right now but what you can s do you can just uh, select other parts like this and exclude them from analysis okay these parts are excluded now this upright i don't want to exclude and okay i will make this exclude now my upright is there only right so what i will do i will apply the material whatever material you want to apply i will just apply uh, wait where is the aluminium okay 7 series 7075 t6 sn apply okay let's see if it it is having the material or not okay material is there these are the properties uh, which is directly coming from the material okay now i'll just apply the random boundary condition i'm not applying the exact forces i just want to showcase the display so that's why i'm applying the uh, direct loads force this parts this parts okay and this hole having the forces in uh, random direction like this direction horizontal in opposite direction let's say i want to apply 5000 newton over those holes also i will apply in this okay so as you can see my forces are there okay it's in the other direction so what i will do i will just edit this force item axial force select direction okay now as you can see my forces are there i will add another force to this mounting points 2000 newton direction i will select let's say this direction okay i'm just applying the random boundary condition i will make a fixture right now fixed geometry and in the fixed geometry i will select this uh, circular portions right now okay so i am done with that okay now what you have to do now you have to mesh i will apply the coarse mesh little bit coarse so it will not take much longer time to solve it okay what i will do run this study okay so my study has been completed and my stress levels are there as you can see my uh, rainbow color is there color uh, contour is there on the part stress contour is there and also you can uh, see the displacement contour as well okay good 
now what you have to do you just go to the model in model there is no change right now okay but what you can do there is a one option available here right now which is a simulation display what other guys are doing uh, the uh, common mistake is that what they do they just open the part like this a separate part and they do simulation and they uh, they still trying to find this option but there is there is the option only available if you exclude other parts from the assembly and do the simulation and then coming to the original model then this option is available otherwise this option will not be available for a single part right so that's why we did that uh, exclude parts from the assembly right so that is the case now I will enable the simulation display as you can see simulation display display in real view and open gel okay now they will ask what parameter you need to consider to display in the part okay so there are a lot of options uh, if you want to showcase the deform part if you want to showcase the original part so I will showcase the stress level because it looks amazing okay as you can see okay and also you can see the deformation uh, deformed result okay which something look like this but i don't want to uh, showcase the deformed results also you can see the mesh so the legend as well in the assembly okay and reflection amount you can see you can adjust uh, according to your requirements now i will click okay so after clicking okay as you can see the beautiful uh, knuckle is visible here and uh, as you can see the simulation display in the assembly showcasing here right so that's how you uh, you can do the simulation display in the assembly level the same you can do with the other parts okay just like disk thermal simulation uv joint steering column all the things you can uh, showcase in the assembly right in the form of uh, simulation contours so that's how you can do and uh, that's all for the video uh, if you like the video please share and subscribe the channel and uh, once again thank you so much keep sharing keep learning